last pieces fitting in the pin block here um, caps just thought I'd show you what we do here see I gotta draw a little line here like this right where this ends and don't forget this this part here from here out is covered with the other part of the pin block that goes on here there's only this much that shows well this much here this part is covered right up to here so we have to do this on all of them what we do is bring it over here we got our trusty quarter inch chisel 6.25 millimeter taken off at an angle like this I don't know if you can get a machine to do this, probably. I don't have a machine, so see that fifth there like that. Let me just give it a little tap. It goes underneath nice. We gotta take a little more off of here, but I just wanted to show the process of to do this. It's, don't take too long. A couple days, a few days to do this. And now we're just gonna continue whittling. Oh, I gotta cut this face here first. Oops before I do that. <clears throat> yeah, it's got to be at an angle like these. So I use this part on the bandsaw to get my degree of angle. It makes everything a little difficult to do. You know, if this was at the, at the angle of the slope here, it'd be easier, but no, they had to put a bevel in here as it fits against the cast iron so okay so we're gonna do that and uh, fit that there and continue to fit this and then uh, that's what we do you know why I use a little chisel like this well we got others but I use a narrow one like this because this wood is so hard it's hard as stone That's why we use it. 120 years old maple. Let's do it. Well, everything seems out of focus. Maybe my camera's no good. Maybe it's my eyes. Well, anyways, we'll try this. This is the last. This is getting to the last pieces here. And this is what we do. A little chalk. Get this all whittled down to fit under here. So it fits tight, tight here, and this way, most important, that, that fit right there, and you can see there's a, there's a gap here in the cast iron, it doesn't touch there underneath this thing, but we're going to do one more scraping uh, before we glue it in, and it looks pretty good, it's touching all along here, we're going to scrape these, uh, scrape these down a little bit more and it should fit good enough to glue this in so there we have it we'll do it it's nice and hot now nice and dry some warm just gotta butter it up and glue I'll shut this off actually not good to have it air blowing on here work it in good make sure it's Worked in get the dust out of the wood. Oh, I forgot to do this. Little safety precaution. I don't want it gluing to the plate too much. I hope it doesn't glue at all. The stuff doesn't stick to steel very good, which is a good thing. Okay, here we go. Put this in here. Slide that in place. Now we've got this big clamping system here. It's 
almost like doing brickwork with the mortar. Okay, this goes here. One, two, three. Five pieces. There. Uniform pressure with one big clamp. And again, it slides it towards the cast iron, which is natural slope. It's good on the glue. That's it. Oh, that's really good. Okay, we just wash this up now, and then. Uh, I got one piece to fit and I can start fitting that piece right away. As soon as I fit this, I can take this all apart and see how it turned out. And plane this off. When this is out of the pan, it'll be easy to take a hand plane or plane that off. Nice and clean. Get the glue up here. There we go. Blood over here a little bit here. I don't know, the book says that the hide glue has the tensile strength, the stretching strength of cast iron. Now that's hard to believe, but, but it is stronger than glass. So there. Next next project. Okay, here's the last piece on this uh, project here. And I always forget to do this. Let's give it a quick one. Right there. There, anyway. Paint this good. Got a large area here. I think this is the largest one. So far, peace. So, glue is hot. Hot is uh, hot, 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 hot. So it squishes out easily. You gotta lose a lot of pressure with this one. Swirl it around like this. Kind of works it into the dusty surface a little bit. It seems I've seen stories about that. Heard stories, I mean. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, that fits good. Let me get this all set up here. One here, like so. Two here, like so. Shut that off. And one giant clamp. Yeah, already set up here. It's one of our uh, soundboard glue in clamps. Heavy duty. I put that right like that so it slides into the into it. Like so. Angle this so it pushes everything into the corner. Just slightly angled like that. There we go. Should slide right nice. Oh, yeah, turn it this way a little bit more. Swing the base out. There we go, not too much, but enough so it slides it into the cast iron. We don't need this anymore, like that. And see, the viscosity of our glue is just so that it can squish out like that everywhere and of course with this crazy clamp I can squish the piano so they don't bend there we have it just wash the glue and uh, celebrate because it was a lot of chiseling See how our pattern came out here. Mm, looks pretty good.
assembly comes out now and we can set it over here on the bench. Be a lot easier to mill this off here when this is out of the piano. Oh, pretty heavy. Yeah, see it came out good. Touching most of the way. I might even put some epoxy stuff in here. Make sure. It's a very good imprint though. Very good casting. So, we clean this up. Finish this off and yeah, a lot of chiseling and cleaning to do. Get this level with this. Like over here. Okay, we'll do it. Planing, planing. Just sharpen my chain with my planer here. But I'm gonna plane all this down now and it's not so hard. All of this gotta go like so. tough wood this old maple. Very tough. So we're going to plane it down until it's flat like this. Right in here. You can see. We'll see. We'll get it down. Okay, we're going to make a lot of noise here. Just thought I'd drop ahead a little bit and make this a little prettier. It looks like heck. So, gotta plug it in first. Well, well, what do we got here? We have some old pin block wood here. Well, I got my base all set. And getting this ready to put the veneer on this spot here. I'm going to have to get some hard maple here. Cross banding on the surface of this to hold this together. Um, and I just thought I'd throw this on here. This is the first time I put this on here to see how, uh, how it's starting to fit. And it's fitting really good. I'm not done yet. But look at just to say, that's going to go together real well when I clean up that crack there. And I have the veneer to fix that. And I don't think I'll have to take this finish off of here. This will be rejuvenated with a little shellac and alcohol, maybe a lot of shellac and alcohol, we'll see. And see how it's splitting here. That's the original. But those cracks and splits only go about three quarters of an inch here. They only go up to there. So we're going to not even pay attention to those. We're going to glue all that together. What I wanted, I was I'm glad it fits like this. See, this here has to come down some more in here somewhere's in there right now I can draw a line here like this this 
is why we're going to put this will be glued in the piano the bottom part this will go on after I have the veneer for this early in the videos it shows us taking it off oh, so why did I put these under here that's a real mystery as to why they did that see there's our profile I'm doing pretty good well, we have to this has to come down this is not the correct, the correct angle yet but it has to this has to be lowered slightly this one from here or this here come down this is a little thick right here so right here I have to come down with this to bring this out to there whoops there goes my pencil again so uh, here we have it this is good you see we'll bring this down this way this dirt mark here that's the original height I'm kind of trying to save that as a guide once this starts to disappear we are level and we're getting there we're not quite there yet this this has to go down a little bit more in here so to bring this line up to there so it matches to this it's the original right there I'm going to save that color Hmm. I can patch that up pretty good and uh, well, we'll do it a little more sanding with this big block that's how we level that there okay let's do it oh yeah here's this big leveling block back to the charcoal charcoal mark oops drop the chalk gotta make sure your piece of wood is dead flat and it is oh pretty good see I love this line here huh? see your high spot See, we're high here, all the way here. We have a hollow here. See, everywhere is hollow. Over here, here. We're going to leave this alone, though. We want to bring this down to that line. And it's working out pretty soon. This is how we do it with a, with a planer and this. Take too much off. You get in trouble. I will continue. And make chalk marks and then. Uh, be ready to glue our veneer on okay that's it for this time okay I'm gonna bring this down to this line here this is the edge of our top that goes on here um, for some reason it's planing So much easier than the rest of it. I don't know why. It's the same wood, same plane. Has to be level with this. So I'm going to continue with this. So we get that level here. 
once I get this down to here, I'm going to level it, finish it off with this. And if I have a little miscalculation here, um, this is the edge of the of our top piece that goes here. That's our pin field. It's so small. And anyways, this is supposed to be level with this, and I can't bring that down, so I have to bring this up, which is a pain. And well, it uh, I should have left this a little thicker, but I didn't. It's difficult to calculate the thickness of this piece of wood here because it slopes in like so, and as it goes around. The angle changes a little bit. It gets a little steeper here, so I didn't figure that in. So what we got to do is add a piece of wood, basically. See, about that much, right there. So I just can't put a piece of wood there. It just wouldn't be right because my veneer is going to overlap this. So I'm going to take, I got some more, I got a lot more of this here. So I'm going to take a piece and custom fit it in here, up to here. Because that's where our slope is ending here. This could come down slightly, but not, not much more. So I'm going to have to cut, come, come up to here with this addition here, up to here. And raise this up a little bit. It's supposed to end right there. Well, I didn't know that. Okay, so we'll, we'll add a piece, and then we'll come back. Okay, we got this piece. Oh, boy, it's a big piece. This goes on here. I'll, uh, I'll level this off camera that should be pretty good and this here we're gonna have to add a piece here right here somewhere's up to here tapered to zero because this is the height that I need so it could end here somewhere right right there and come up to somewhere about here so put this on here I leveled all this this should be all ready for this to glue on here what this whole thing is for. We're getting it ready for that cross banding that has to go on here. So, let's see how this fits. It's amazing how it locks right back in place. It falls right into all the grooves. Very good. Oh, that looks pretty good. See, that fits better than the other side. The other one. Very nice. Good wood. All right, I got to bring it up here now. See, up to here, up to about here. I have to glue a piece on here to bring this up. I guess to this level here. Hmm, that's a very steep slope or angle. It has to go up to like that. So I got an eighth of an inch of wood missing here. Uh, okay, I'll put a piece here and then we'll have to whittle it down. Meanwhile, I could draw my profile and see how that came out. Here, straight down. That's where the veneer ends. This stuff. some rock maple for that too. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, geez. oh, pretty good. We're there on this line here. That's good. Let's see. This matches this. I'm gonna take a little bit off here. A little bit off here. We mark it like that. But sand it down. Do not remove the line. When the line is removed, we've gone too far. So I might have to do a little more chiseling in here. So this is pretty flat. So that's 
the paper off. This has to be a flat. So when we glue our veneer on there, we have no troubles. It has to be. We'll whittle this down a little more. We'll clamp it down later. But I am very happy to see that this is joining up with this angle here. Right there. You know, if you go too too far with this, the angle migrates out, this line migrates out there. <laughs> and it won't match this other part. Okay, so far so good. Um, now I gotta get some veneer for this in our veneer warehouse. Um, we'll do it up. I gotta clamp that first. <laughs> 